Zach Bradshaw here at the Mona Plummer Aquatic Center in Tempe, where the ASU men's and women's swim and dive teams just had a meet against the USC Trojans. It was a ranked v ranked matchup, and although ASU did not come out with the win, they have a lot of positives looking forward. The ASU swim team headed into Saturday's matchup against a ranked USC team looking to stomp the bus. Both the men's and the women's teams lost a competitive battle, but this meet meant more than just the final score. Head coach Bob Bowman explains. For the men's side, this is our first meet of the year, really, official meet. So we wanted them to you know, get back into it. I think it was great for them to get back into the pressure of it, you know, you know and, and learning what it's all about. For the women, we were concerned about swimming back-to-back -back days. It's very difficult. And I would say for our women's team, that's the best back-to-back -back performance we've had since I've been here. So we feel very good about that. That means they were fit. They were kind of focused on what they were doing today. And this whole thing is being able to sustain concentration and energy over two days, so I was very proud of them for that. With concentration and energy is exactly how the Sun Devils needed to approach a tough matchup with USC. Lindsay Looney, who performed particularly well, swam first place in the 200-yard butterfly, and echoed Coach Bowen's beliefs that this was a successful meet. I think it was really good today. I, I honestly think that this is feeling this hype from not being able to compete for so long, at least collegiately, it felt so euphoric and we got to finally be a, be a team again all together and it was really great. As the swimmers began to cheer each other on, so did the fans. Despite the loss, redshirt senior Grant House laid down goals for the season moving forward. Our pursuit and our goal is to be the best team in the country and not just the Pac-12, but overall. And you know, there's, there's gonna be different learning curves along the way, but you know, each, each one of these opportunities um, can be perceived as like an obstacle or an opportunity to capitalize on. And so that's just kind of a reminder, like be present, be here, face the moment now. You know, like maybe the week of training was really hard, but you're here, you're, you're competing, you're doing the best you can. And when we're tired, when we're struggling in practices, like, hey, think about your goals. Like, where do you wanna be? And if you're not here today, like, it's gonna be a struggle to get there at the end. So making sure every moment does matter, and just being in present is, and maximizing our potential right now. In the end, the Sun Devils did not secure a win, but both teams swam their hearts out, showing the team's strength, camaraderie, and compassion. The men's and women's swim teams don't have another meet for another two months. However, they have the North Carolina State invite coming up. For Inferno Intel, I'm Zach Bradshaw. Life is cool in the pool. We will see you in the water.